hey guys, what's happening? If you're joining us, you're joining on the Proclivity Podcast. You found the right place. You've been looking all over the internet for a place to land, and now you found it. You can call it home. That's what Emily and I call it. <laughs> it's home. <laughs> Coach Emily, how are those legs feeling? Good. Doing good. They're a little <clears throat> little uh, tired and just need to give them a little shake. We're good now. Yep. Yep. Yeah. That's, that's pretty much how Emily uh, treats her life. Things get a little <laughs> tired, she just gives a little shake. That's, everything's all good. That's what we He's do. He's asking because we went on a run and then I said my legs were feeling tired, but they're good. They're good now. And tune in next week, guys, because we're going to be doing hill sprints, stair sprints, because that's what Emily asked. She wanted hill sprints. I mentioned it. I didn't ask. She asked, <laughs> you guys. Um, episode 82, Emily. Yeah, let's go. Daily drive. Daily drive. The daily drive, you guys, is all about short, straight to the point, focused information, and today what we're going to be talking about is magnesium. It's one of those minerals, one of those supplements that we highly suggest because it makes such a massive difference. Mm -hmm. And so, unless you have anything else to say, Emily, you want to jump right in? Let's do it. Cool. Today, you guys, we're going to be talking about magnesium. We're going to talk about what it is, why it's important whether you're getting enough of it and how to be able to dose it correctly. Also getting the appropriate magnesium. There's a lot of different magnesiums out there. We're going to talk to you about the benefits that you're going to get and also the possibility of some side effects. So buckle in. Do you see the pun intended there? Daily drive buckled in. <laughs> Did you get it? Yeah, it's good. Okay, it took me a minute. Thanks That's for okay. explaining and pausing. Only, it was only five seconds. It wasn't a minute. That's great too. <laughs> Buckle in guys because we're jumping in. So let's start off with it. Coach Emily, as we always do, binary language there, we start off with the basic definition of it. What is magnesium? Magnesium is a mineral. It's a chemical element that our body needs for several hundred processes in the body. So it's known to be part of over 300 functions and over 700 enzymatic, I don't know if that's the right word, but enzymatic uh, functions in the body. So it has an abundance of use, arguably the most important in terms of it helping with overall health because it helps with such an array of things. And you said that it, I mean, one incredible that has, it's part of so many different um, features of the body and, and the operations of the body. Why is it important? We know that it operates, but wh what? why is it so important to be able to have appropriate magnesium? Whew. It is, there's a ton of benefits. So the most notably being can help with bone health. So works synergistically with calcium and vitamin D. And so it helps keep bone density nice and healthy. It can help with anxiety, depression, and stress because when we are more stressed, we're more depleted. We, our body uses more of it. So it can really help with our mood and overall spirits and all <clears throat> overall, um, can help with heart health. So keep lower blood pressure can help with heart health in general. It's used sometimes when people have heart attacks, that kind of thing can it help alleviate headaches, migraines. Uh, and any kind of PMS symptoms. That's a lot of the clientele I, a big reason why I recommend to a lot of our clients is because of PMS symptoms or anything to do with hormone imbalance, um, can help with even blood sugar regulation, um, help with insulin sensitivity, can help reduce your cravings, helps with energy because it helps convert carbs, fats, and proteins to energy in your body, helps your muscles contract. So cramps, right? It can help your body relax, helps with contraction and relaxation. Um, the list goes on and on. There's a lot. <laughs> Shall yeah. I keep going? Yeah. Don't, well, I don't know. Should you keep going? <laughs> Guys, we're driving home the point here that magnesium is a really, really important mineral and supplement. And if you're not taking it, a lot of the uh, side effects or symptoms that you may be feeling, thinking that it might be, oh, I'm just not getting enough sleep. 
well, you might not be getting enough sleep because you don't have enough magnesium and it's being hard to sleep. Mm -hmm. Or you have a headache, right? And you're thinking, oh, I didn't get enough sleep or maybe I had too much coffee. Or maybe you don't have enough magnesium. A, a lot of these symptoms can be relieved by making sure that we have enough magnesium. Because it, I saw a study that 50% of Americans are magnesium deficient. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if it's way higher. I wouldn't be surprised if it was way higher too. It was one of those things we did... Um, a daily drive on vitamin D, you guys. You can go back, mm -hmm. take a look at that one. That's a really important supplement that a lot of people are not taking. And magnesium is one of them as well. So just like with vitamin D, when we talked about like, hey, why is there so many people so deficient in vitamin D? Same question with magnesium. Why is there so many people that are deficient when it comes to magnesium, this really vital, important mineral? Yeah, a couple of main reasons. So a lot of our food is more refined now. When you refine food, it loses uh, a big percentage of the the actual content of magnesium in the food. So when you start refining it, you start breaking it down, it's packaged, cut up, processed, added, you know, things added to it, you lose the majority of the actual nutrient. Then when you eat it, you're only absorbing about 30 or 40% of what you actually eat too. And then to add on top of that, our soils are becoming more depleted. So compared to, there's a study done in the forties compared to the late nineties. And it's, so it's probably even more now that there's been a decline 15 to 35% of magnesium in the actual food compared to, you know, 60, 70, 80 years ago. Wow. And those would be the main reasons. And then just the culture of eating more refined foods. So moving away from eating the foods that actually have magnesium in it and then the refinement in the soils, right? We're not, we're not practicing as much regenerative agriculture, which helps keep those soils nice and magnesium rich. Mm. So because uh, we have so many refined foods or that agriculture is being turned over so often, less carbon rich soil, less magnesium in the soil, less magnesium mm -hmm. in our bodies. Mm -hmm. And I'll add one more. Okay. Uh, we're, we're more stressed than ever. And again, like I mentioned, stress, uh, it depletes us of magnesium. So that would be another major factor. So with that, I don't know if you know the, you know, Andrew Huberman kind of status of this, but <laughs> you know, like I'm imagining like my magnesium levels, like in a, like a video game. You know, like the power bar and like a video game. Maybe Emily's not going to know this. Okay. <laughs> if there was a guy here, okay, or a gamer, <laughs> I should say, you know, you're playing like Mortal Kombat and you got like the little life bar. Is this, okay. is this ringing at all? Have you ever played a video game in your life? Uh, I think I know what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. Keep going. Okay. So anyways, I'm imagining that there's like this bar filled up of magnesium. And like, just like in a fight scene in a video game, like you get punched a couple of times and that bar goes, boom, and it goes down. And it, boom, and mm -hmm. it goes down a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's like the stress levels that were, that's yep. happening. And why is it that that magnesium is getting, like the levels are dropping? Is, do you know the, the biological side of what's happening there? Well, yeah, on the basic level, you're, when you're more stressed, you have more, you're using more hormones, you're using more energy in general. And so it's just going through it much faster. So it just it makes logical sense in terms of you're going, your energy production is much higher. Your body's under more stress. It needs more help and oomph and, and magnesium is just getting depleted, depleted, depleted. Gotcha. Gotcha. So the stress along with refined foods, refined foods that don't have a ton of magnesium in them is causing most people to be low in magnesium. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we now know what magnesium is. What would you say is the top three? You'd named out a ton of benefits, but if somebody's out there and like, oh, I'm not taking a magnesium supplement, what do mm -hmm. we see as like the top three benefits that people will get from taking magnesium? Top three benefits. I'll say top three, <laughs> three to five, right? 
way? What are the benefits? <laughs> like, what is somebody maybe going through that's, that magnesium is going to be able to help? Yeah, I, would, I, I could classify one as pain management. So whether it be headaches, inflammation, joint pain, cramps, uh, it helps with that. Um, two, relaxation or sleep. It helps you, you sleep better or relax better. Um, three, I would say energy um, or overall health, right? I mentioned there's so mm -hmm. many things. Mm -hmm. um, your mood, right? That's a huge reason why we need to be sufficient in magnesium mm -hmm. is so we don't get to that super anxious, depressed, sad state. Right. <sighs> That's hard. <laughs> <laughs> so many enough. reasons yeah. why yeah 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 well and i know that's a, a that's a tough one and really it's just being able to speak to the people who you know may be dealing with the headaches or the low energy mm -hmm. or the mm -hmm. cravings mm -hmm. right guys yep. it's, it's simple and easy are not the same thing we say that a lot at, at proclivity yet there's some times where simple's just simple mm -hmm. and Hey, you're low on magnesium and vitamin D. Take a high quality magnesium and vitamin D and see what happens to your world consistently mm -hmm. and see what happens to your world upside down. Yeah. That, that's yeah. Simple. And yeah. And so the people who I recommend, I mean, I think pretty much everyone should be on magnesium. Yeah. The people who are like, you definitely need it, or anyone with uh, high blood pressure, any kind of blood sugar issues, any, any mm. symptoms of PMS headaches and cramps, um, and then any kind of mood dysregulation, 110% should be taking magnesium. There you go. Okay. We talked a lot of good benefits there. Are there any side effects to supplementing magnesium? Mm -hmm. Very low. Yet yeah, there are some people who are hyper responders to supplements in general, maybe specifically just magnesium. And there's two things you would, you would notice if you're one of these people. So one, you could feel a little bit keyed up. Um, so I, for example, I had a client who would take, I think he was taking three or 400 milligrams right before bed. And then he'd wake up in the middle of the night and feel just a little ramped up, which is a very rare one yet mm -hmm. something to be aware of for yourself. If you, again, are sensitive to outside supplements. That one, that's the only client I've ever had an issue with. The uh, the more common one that you would notice are GI symptoms in terms of a lot of magnesiums work as a laxative. So you may see an increase in bowel movements, loose stools, diarrhea, that kind of thing. And that is where the dosage and the type of magnesium comes in. Mm. What a good lead in to the next question, Coach Emily. This is the daily drive. We're knocking this stuff out. Okay, so we talked about magnesium. We talked about the benefits that you can have, some of the side effects. Let's make it applicable for the people. Mm -hmm. How much should you take and what kind of magnesium should you be taking? Yeah, the amount will depend on how big of a person you are, how much you're exercising, how much stress you're going through, and what your symptoms specifically are. But that range is anywhere from 200 milligrams to 700 milligrams. Again, on that higher range, if, say, you are a tall male, um, or say you are a female within the week before your period, that's when I recommend to ramp it up to that five, six, 700 range for some people. Uh, but on average, three to 400 milligrams a day is perfectly enough um, as a daily maintenance level. In the type, oh, there's so many types. And this is where a lot of people are like, oh yeah, I'm taking a magnesium, I'm fine. Yet I'm still having all these symptoms that we just listed, right? Lots of sugar cravings, not feeling... Um, rejuvenated after their workout or waking up super tired and feeling anxious, right? <clears throat> so the type is very important. There are at least a dozen different types of magnesiums and not all of them are bioavailable and absorbed very well. So the ones we focus on, and this depends on what your exact symptoms and needs are. So the top three, three and eight is a really good form. Three and eight, it's really good for cognition, memory, anything brain health. So if you're having migraines, headaches, cognition issues, um, you're, you tend to be keyed up at night in your brain like you're overthinking things, three and eight would be a great one for you. Super absorbable and bioavailable. It's the only one that crosses the blood-brain barrier, so it's a super helpful one. <clears throat> Number two, glycinate is the one I recommend for most of my clients, especially females with PMS issues. 
Um, so if you have the array of cramps, headaches, mood, cravings, um, if you're wanting that calming effect as well, muscle relaxation. So the majority of the benefits of magnesium in general, glycine is a great one because it's the most bioavailable out of pretty much all of the types of magnesium. So bisglycinate, glycinate, you'll see it on the, the bottle written as that. And then the third one, malate is also a great one. That one specifically is for energy production um, or fatigue. So it makes sense that it's in our favorite product element because it helps with physical performance more than the others. And so it, yeah, I, again, I have clients who are like, oh, I, I have an element every day, so I'm getting my magnesium. Like, well, yes and no. <laughs> right. So it depends again, what you want your magnesium for, whether, what are the symptoms that you mm -hmm. are experiencing? And two, it, there is a good amount in there, but it's 60 milligrams versus the recommended anywhere from two to 400 milligrams for the average person, right? Mm -hmm. So you still need to get more either from your diet or supplementation. So, uh, but malate again, good bio bioavailability for that one. And that one focuses more on energy production, fatigue and specific to, uh, physical performance. And when should you be taking it? Should you be taking it twice a day, once in the morning, once in the evening? You know, you're talking about taking magnesium to be able to help with sleep. Do you take a higher dose at, at night before you go to sleep? What, where, when mm -hmm. should that dosage be? Yeah, for most people, I recommend it at night because it can help with better sleep in terms of the relaxation, calming of your brain, calming of your nervous system. Yet, if you are someone who has headaches throughout the day or you have any kind of anxiety, mood, depression, uh, that is where I would take it perhaps in the morning and or evening and see if it helps with those symptoms. So again, depending on what you're trying to help it with. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Any time of day is fine. Then most people take it at night for those calming effects. Got you. Got you. And is there any foods that we could take that would mm -hmm. be high in magnesium that we'd want to eat more in the evening than we would in the morning or does it matter? Um, not so much timing of days, just making sure you're getting up to that three, 400 milligrams a day in total, whether it be through supplements, food yet, if you were to get it all through food, it would be difficult and, you know, to get enough, especially if you're in one of these stress states or you have any of these symptoms, but the foods that have the most, uh, the highest levels are things like nut seeds and leafy greens and specifically pumpkin seeds. So I, that's what, a big reason why I love pumpkin seeds. They also mm. have a, a good amount of protein and fat in them. Um, but those are one of the highest markers, uh, our highest foods that um, have the highest levels of magnesium, chia seeds, spinach. Yeah, some people don't do as well with spinach because of the high oxalate content. So make sure you're cooking your spinach, almonds and cashews in terms of the nuts, um, black beans, if you do well with beans, avocado, gotta love avocado. Oh, okay. Here we go, guys. <laughs> Go. You know me. I, I do know. Avocado. I actually, you guys, we want to stop um, for a second. We want to thank our sponsor, Avocado. Uh, for Not the mattress, just avocados. No, just avocados. <laughs> uh, not not from Mexico uh, or anywhere. We're, we don't. Just avocados in general. We just want to thank God for avocados. And, <laughs> yeah. uh, if, if you want, go to a store. Uh, use Proclivity at checkout. You'll get a 0% <laughs> discount. <laughs> That's avocado. I mean, there's just so many benefits to avocado. There are, I feel bad for the people in the world who are allergic to them. I'm sorry for those of you out there yet has a good amount of magnesium in it as well as salmon, halibut. And then of course the beloved dark chocolate. So cacao or a high level percentage. So I think 70% or higher of chocolate, which is why if anyone out there, especially females, mm -hmm. if you crave chocolate a lot or have intense cravings for chocolate, especially around your period, yep. it's most likely because you're deficient in magnesium. There it is, folks. Avocados. <laughs> what you didn't know is that this entire episode was about avocados. <laughs> and we're getting a kickback from avocados. I wish. <laughs> yeah, Emily does wish. Do you get the whole bag of avocado at Costco? I've done that, yeah. I found to be let down in terms of the quality. Ooh. I have to throw out half of them most of the time. So I had to get the singles. I paid the little extra bit. You just, each day you're leaving work and heading to the store to get one avocado. No, you, you get the arrangement. So you get a ripe one, you get an unripe, you know, a few ripe ones, a few unripe ones. And then there's the strategy of putting them in the fridge versus on the counter. You don't know about this. Oh, you guys, we just <laughs> got our next daily drive. 
It's going to yeah. be on avocados. <laughs> and we're going to go take you to order a Tuesday Night Live. We haven't done Tuesday Night Live in mm. a long time. Mm, true. You're going to the store. I'm going to sit at home. <laughs> this is great. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we're at that 20 minute mark. So we're going to wrap this sucker up. We talked about what magnesium, the magnesium is, the benefits, the side effects, um, the application, when to, when to take it, how much to take it, what foods are best to get magnesium. Let's leave our listeners top three. What are mm-hmm. the top three ways to get enough magnesium? Mm-hmm. Uh, number one, manage your stress. <laughs> Right, easier said than done. Yet we, if we're not managing our stress, if we're chronically stressed out, we are going to be depleted, any which way you put it. So that's number one. Number two, f- through the foods, of course, if you can get anything I mentioned, like the seeds, nuts, leafy greens, avocados, and fish. If you can get that in at least a couple times a week, then you're getting some really bioavailable magnesium. That's awesome. If you can get that daily, great, and you feel good, great. Third, supplementation. I recommend everyone at least try it try a full a bottle's worth right that could be anywhere from one to three months and that'll give your body enough time to be like hey yeah this helps or if you don't notice a difference maybe you don't need it or as much and maybe you're doing just fine yeah i could almost guarantee you'll notice some sort of improvement in one of those areas mm-hmm. if you take it consistently daily for at least 30 days if not three months there it is folks <laughs> daily drive 20 minutes talking about magnesium if you have questions on magnesium, what should they do, Coach Emily? Shoot us an email or a message. We're happy to help. Happy Instagram to help. at proclivity.co or emily at proclivity.co is my email. Either way, whatever works for you. Mm. You love what you do. <laughs> yes, very grateful for what we can do. We had a graduation call the other day with somebody and her graduation call she's gonna she's gonna end up being on uh the podcast was fire y'all where she talked about having nine years of of help and working through stuff and in three months proclivity method boom (laughs) isn't that wild i was impressed (laughs) I was like, what? I mean, you'll you'll, you'll hear when it, when it comes. Um, It was, she has an incredible story and uh, she did the work and that's the proclivity method. Mm -hmm. We hear more often this changed my entire life than, than not. I mean, I would Mm -hmm. say very rarely do we hear somebody not use those words, correct? Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, which it may sound like, eh, what, really? No, really. <laughs> I, I get it. It sounds too good to be true. But when you put Emily and Joel together, <laughs> who knows what could happen? The proclivity <laughs> method. That's what happens. If you're interested in the proclivity method, head to www.proclivity.co. Check out, our, we're launching a new website. We got some videos of Emily and I. It's awesome. Check this out. Thanks excited? for listening, guys. You excited about that? <laughs> yeah, very excited. I'm excited too. All right, you guys. <laughs> we'll see you next week, episode 83. And until then, best day ever. Best day ever. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs>